In all, nine counts of federal offenses, piecing together a case against the three accused of lying about what went down behind the front door of 7815 Harding Street in January. It is a compelling tale of at least one, perhaps two rogue police officers who were unable or unwilling to do those very functions that we count upon the thin blue line to perform every day. Seven counts against Gerald Goins. It's alleged Goins, the case agent, lied about everything from the confidential informant who allegedly purchased black tar heroin from the home of Dennis Tuttle and Regina Nicholas to filing a false police report and violating the Tuttle's constitutional rights by entering their home on fake intel. Goins' is attorney. We are looking forward to vigorously defending Mr. Goins both in state court and in federal court. Goins also faces two counts of felony murder in state criminal court. One count for Stephen Bryant, who was released on a $50,000 unsecured bond. He has entered a not guilty plea. Bryant is accused of lying about previously investigating the Tuttle home, claiming he had seen the heroin Goins reported was purchased from the home the day before the raid. And one count for Patricia Ann Garcia, the new name here, accused of calling 911 multiple times, claiming her daughter was in the house which contained drugs and guns. Her case key because it provides context as to how we got here in the first place. She is the reason why this notion junkies and heroin addicts and that Harding Street residence is basically a fairy tale.